All right, guys, welcome back to the Jig Pro Fishing Channel. Finally got my boy Tristan. What's up, everybody? Out to the Appomattox, the largest floating rig in the Gulf of Mexico. We just had a 130 mile run and we see some fish busting out here. We've got some exciting new stuff for you guys. We've got new popping rods Jig Pro's developing that we're gonna test today. Uh, we're hopefully gonna get on some 100 plus pound yellowfin. That's always the dream out here. Um, but most importantly, we're gonna have a good time. What you think, Tristan? I think we're getting on them tonight. It's looking good. The weather's right. The fish are around. I think we're gonna make it happen tonight. All right, let's go do this. Let's do this, baby. Come on. <clears throat> All right, guys, so we're reading fish pretty deep right now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the new semi here. I'm gonna go with a blue color, just kind of match the water that we're in. Instead of rigging it for slow jigging, since we're tuna fishing, I would normally rig it up top where the weighted part is up top. I'm gonna flip it over and rig it from the bottom. That way it'll shoot down super fast and hopefully trigger the bite from those tuna. And then I'm gonna rip it up fast. So this is gonna help that too. If you can, I got a wireless mic. You got the rod and me in the frame. Yeah. All right guys, beautiful place to come out and fish. We're out here at the Appomattox rig right now. We might make a move later. Kind of waiting for sunset to set. That's when the bite really fires up normally. But we've already got one nice yellowfin on board. So paying fish at 160 to 200 foot. So I'm trying to get down there and slow jig them. See if we can get them jigged up. Alex is back there whipping it. On the jig, on the jig. He's small. What's up guys? So we just made a reset on our drift. Um, and they say we're marking about 150 to 200 foot. So fishing a crackle semi right now, pitching up current, see if I can't get it down there and get one of these guys to pick it up. Profile, all about profile. Seems like these fish are keyed in on these smaller baits right now. Um, Sammy's got a nice short profile to it. So I think, I think it'll, it'll get bit. And that crackle blue glow, I mean, what fish not gonna love that? We're hooked up, baby. Mark it on the screen. 150 feet down. This little guy came and hit it. Missed it. Came back for it. Something small. Stuck that. Stuck that Sandia 140 in him. Guys, so sunset's happening right now. They just got two on the jig, so I'm gonna go ahead and light this jig up. I think the new semi is probably perfect. When I send down like a, a whole jig that's glowing, I usually don't get hit right away. Once it loses some glow, I get hit. But the semi only glows on the edges. So I think that's gonna be money right there. What I said, that semi was gonna do it. All right, guys, I'm over here. I got the power 10 and the semi down. First drop on that semi after putting that glow on it got whacked at about 200 foot. Let's see what happens here. Felt really good. He's coming up now. Nice little black fin right there on the jig. Woo! Right now, I actually got color. I got leader. You got leader? Uh, what is it? Nothing. I'll cut all your black off this southeast corner. Uh, pull this, uh, I think the you get them on, Tristan. Semi baby. Semi crackle. All right, guys. I was yanking that jig up. Ooh, sorry. We just got a triple. I got whacked like 20 feet under the boat. You got a baseball bat? Well, black fin, I think, here. Yeah, nice black fin. Let's go, mate. Will you leader that for me there, Alex? What's that? Will you grab that leader, Alex? Triple black fins, why not? Now we need the next size up. Yeah, now we need them yellow fin, but that's what those JYGs do right there. Look at all those fish. You can't help what bites the hook, but they Boom. work. Boom. That's it, baby. Now we're hooked up on a little blackfin on the semi. It's uh, it's every drop at this point. <laughs> it's too easy. We warming up. Watch out. It's getting loose. 
Let's go. <laughs> now we need the big boys. Semi's getting hit every drop. Every single drop. D. There it is. Oh, on the slow pitch! <laughs> on the slow pitch! This might not be a black fan. Oh! This might not be a black fan. There it is. Came back for it. We're out fishing these guys. <laughs> Let's go, Simi. Every drop, guys. Every drop that Simi's getting ate. There's fish coming in the boat uh, at every oh, single side. Nice. Oh. I'm not sure what I got. It feels different than that black fin I just caught. I caught this one slow pitching, guys. They're getting them on the drop and speed jigging. I went down to about 100 foot, and uh, I just started doing some slow pitches, and it got whacked. I got color. All right, guys. There's another one. We gotta go find some yellow fin soon. We're on again, baby. <laughs> Woo! Let's go. He's up on the surface. Semi does it again. Every drop. All right, I'm gonna come up, and get out of his way. I did rig mine slow jig style. I'm back to fishing it normal. It's working both ways. Yeah, I'm doing a little something different than Ryan. Ryan's using the slow jig. I decided to bring the heavy gear. Get him on a speed jig. Let's get him in. Woo! Don't want to mess around. Look at all that tuna, son. Non-stop action on the semi. Blue crackle, white crackle. Out here at the deep water Proteus. Look at that. We're on again, that. baby. <laughs> it don't get no better than this. Right, in the <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tell him. Hooked up. Skipjack on the semi, baby. You got a real one? Let's see what happens here. Gonna stop very shortly. Woo. There it is. Just like that. That's all you gotta do out here. That's all you gotta do. Just let it drop. They do all the work for you. Oh, that's a better fish. Oh, that's a better fish. You, you want a drink rod? There you go. I'm coming up. Drop it, step down. Drop it. Throw that jig off. Just like that. <laughs> so much jig, baby. So much jig. Semi white crackle. This thing's a killer. That's Let's crack. Go. That crackle, baby. All right, guys, I want to talk a little bit about the setup awesome. I'm using right now. <laughs> I've showed you guys the semi is absolutely lights out. What I'm also using is this brand new Power 10 jig rod with an Ocean Jigger 4000. Now I've got 40 pound braid and 50 pound fluorocarbon for these tuna. So, so far so good. The rod's performing perfect, just like we want it to. We're gonna keep getting after some, maybe get a big one here soon. Can you reel up my rod? Yeah, baby! Yeah. Woo! Let's go! Hooked up, watch baby! Up, Yeah, there will be elephant mixed in. Just gotta get the right one. Ah. Taking it slow, guys. This one's not really uh, giving me a lot of tail beats right now, so I'm just gonna hang out and uh, slowly bring them up. 
I'm sure as soon as he sees the boat, he's gonna take off. That's what it feels like. <laughs> there you go, Ryan, get into it. Caller and leader. All right, guys, so almost all the fish we catch on this trip are going to be sold straight to the market. They prefer that these fish be cut, bled, and processed properly before we get them back to the market. So what we've got is the EKG May Pro Kit. They really love when we do this because the guys who buy these fish understand what a big difference that this makes. So get those hook up. Ah! Come on, he's got hook up again. There it is. There it is. There it is. Oh, look at that little rod go, baby. <laughs> Yeah! Guys, so check this out. I want to show you something real quick. On this Power 10, something that we did, because we knew we were going to be using this for speed jigging as well as super deep. Um, I'm coming your way, Ryan. Super deep bottom jigging. We actually did the spiral wrap guides on this specific rod for that specific reason. That allows us to speed jig really fast without worrying about the tip wrap. So that's why you see this rig is, is wrapped that way. And, there you go. And it helps with the power and the torque that these fish put down. Golly, the, the tuna king hits him again. It's okay, I'll I get can't buy a bite because Tristan's catching them all. Oh! Oh, and losing them all too. He's good at that as well. <laughs> Big tuna guy. See if I can get big. We'll get him again. We'll get him again. Just watch. Come on. Oh. Nah, too deep now. Let's see if we can't get him up through the column, though. Oh, I just got eight. Oh, I got eight. Oh, I got eight. Got yeah, him. let's go, son. Got hammered. Got hammered. I don't know. <laughs> they all feel big. He's digging. He ain't taking drag though, and my drag ain't that tight. Said he's doing work right there. Look at that. Oh, he got hit by something. Look at All that. All right, we gotta find the elephant. What do you think he got hit by? Wahoo out here or Cuda? Just go under me. Doubled up on tunas, guys. I got a semi on. Alex We're in the last hour here, then we gotta get going. Of course, as soon as the bike gets hot. Mine don't feel huge. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Uh, as you guys saw in the video, we destroyed the blackfin tuna. We got, I think, five or six nice yellowfin tuna on the boat. Um, the sun's just now coming up, but we've got flights to catch and wives to see. So as you can see, the rods are still going off, but we're gonna go ahead and cut it here and head in. Thanks for watching. You guys like, subscribe, and comment down below.